Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Wreckfest, going to be going racing with something rather silly. You see, the motorhome can get an upgrade. I don't know quite what point what update came along, but you can put a race V8 in it that puts it up. I mean, this is the normal engine. This gives it a lot of power. I had to, can I figure out the power? 845 horsepower in a motorhome. That's a, that's a stupendous amount of power, and naturally the only thing to do with an 840 horsepower motorhome is to go racing and see if any of them actually survive it, because that bit is a little bit on the dubious side of things. We're racing on intense damage, and the vehicle ahead of me hasn't moved. Well, we've already taken the <laughs> of Crane's vehicle, so that's a good start. Oh, and everyone's gone very wide into turn one, and that Sigliska almost fallen over. And there are a couple of things to make this a little bit more usable. Uh, first of all, lock the diff up, because otherwise it is a... Uh, horrific one-tire fire machine and the second of all is extend the gear ratios because it's only got four and they're still quite short even with the longest gear ratios you can find so it's gonna buzz the limiter on the longer circuits um, it's just stupid fast for a motorhome we're talking here uh, we are gonna be watching three wide up ahead and that's gonna go wrong no oh, it's gonna go wrong for two people Aaron almost stayed on the wheels Ewan did definitely didn't uh, we're gonna slide we're gonna be drifting our motorhome through these corners now. What is the motorhome like over the bumps? Is it good? Surprisingly not too bad actually. Okay, that's fine. Someone hit the inside wall. I think that's a bumpy going out very wide. Don't want the too wide through there. All is good. Right, we come out of the first lap in seventh position. That's not too bad. Yeah, with about 90 miles an hour and then we just buzz the limiter. I wonder how fast it could go with even longer gears, but there's nothing we can do about that one. Now we're gonna get past a bumpy down here. Uh, Oh god, try and get stopped. I don't know quite how. I just don't trust the brakes on this. It's quite a lot of motorhome uh, going into braking zone. Bumpy's going to have a look to the inside. We saw that one coming, gave space. And actually, you know, that was a sensible enough pass. It was a fairly big dive, but we had time to react to it and to give room uh, when we realised we were going to be in trouble. Uh, but unfortunately, it does cost us some time. If we can be neat and tidy up here, we can maybe get the place back. Oh, Bumpy's got a wiggle on through there. Uh, there's going to be a space to the insult. Bumpy's got oversteer. <laughs> we're going to straighten out the pink vehicle. <laughs> it's fine. We're back up into sixth again. Oh, uh, damn it. We're losing ground to the lead. But this has actually been a really good uh, race here. A little bit spread out occurring ahead of us. I'm being a smidge. I think I'm being a little bit too oh, cautious with my breaking points in this. I just don't trust that it's going to get stopped. And it is surprisingly good. It's kind of better than you expect in some ways. That's risky. That's asking for trouble and asking for falling over if we're not careful. Longbow is busy battling with nine tails, and we might lose out to Bumpy here. No, we're good. Uh, surprisingly the field's not quite spread enough spread out enough yet for anyone to get into real trouble at the crossover point. Side by side up ahead, that's good for me. Want to see that, because when you're doing that, you're going slower than if you're on your own, and that should allow me to catch up and join in this fight over fourth position. Uh, there's a big bounce from Ninetales' vehicle there. Right, if we can set up a good run through here, we can be on a much, oh, tiny little bit of lag, but that's okay. There's a scrap over second place as well. Danger Man's got quite a big gap at the moment. Uh, we're going to go for a cutback on Longbow here. And I think we're going to get that one worked. We will. Okay, so the more the scrap for second happens, the better the chances of me sneaking it onto the podium one way or another. Especially if they fall over one another, Ninetales gets involved. Danger Man's got this one in the bag, barring a big crash. Potentially at the crossover, if they are in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, third gear is good coming out of here. Oh, and Bumpy's made a big mess in the battle for second! <laughs> Gliska took the brunt of that hit and we were in that right place at the right time to move ourselves up into third spot. We're going to slide the motor. That's a really fun corner in this, actually. Uh, Ewan bobbles over the curb, as do we. I mean, I line over... Okay, I like the line that I take out of here, but there is a risk to it. You get straightened up better for this part. However, you leave a huge gap if somebody wants to have a dive to the inside. So you've got to be you've got to pick and choose the moment you do that line, I think. Uh, Ewan is sliding it around a lot ahead of us, and that's good news for me. They're starting to squabble over fourth. That is what I want to see. We want to try and clear Ewan 
quickly and not bring the whole pack with us. Danger Man could be an issue here. Nope, Danger Man is clear. Uh, no, not clear though, has got murdered by the onrushing horde. <laughs> that is the downside. We should be clear of that blue camper that is missing a wheel. This might actually become the battle for first now. Who needs GTA 5 catch-up when you can have crossover chaos to bring the field back together again? Ewan has hit the wall and has gone around. I don't think I actually had any contact in that. My controller didn't buzz to tell me anything about that contact. So, um, although it didn't, uh, my controller doesn't seem to be having any vibrations going on anyway, so... That's fine. We're not going to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a battle for the lead. Uh, it was not an intentional bump on Ewan, although Ewan was in a lot of trouble anyway at that point, regardless of what I did. Yes, I know we're playing Wreckfest. However, for this race, when we're on sensible circuits, we do actually try and race relatively well, because funnily enough, you can have really good wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles on this one, and Danger Man has pinged off the wall on the inside. That has put me to the lead of the race. All we've got to do, really, is not make a complete hash of this corner, but it's get across this crossover point. Go behind you and we should be good. We ran wide there, but we straightened up for the exit, so we will at least get a good run up the hill here. Uh, don't do anything dumb through this next corner. We're getting a little sideways, but nothing too bad. I mean, we've probably got the healthiest condition motorhome uh, at the moment. We're at 94 health, have barely taken any damage. Uh, and it looks a bit battered, sure, and as long as we don't mess up this section, we're going to take a very improbable win. But it is a win that I will be uh, happy to take. Victory in the motorhomes around the street circuit. Ah. <sighs> Nowhere near as fast a lap as Ninetales, but Ninetales got stuck in that fight. Uh, Danger Bear had a huge lead, but the crossover got the better. Uh, let's go drop down to 10th. That must have lost a wheel. I should think. Uh, oh, yeah, that's... Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear, indeed. That is a sorry sight of a motorhome. I'm lucky he was in the battle for a while, but, uh, yeah, basically was hit at the crossroad. Took the brunt of the impact there. Uh, Aaron manages to make a wobbly pass. Oh, no, still wobbling. I think let's go actually hold on to that position because it's Aaron's big old wobble through there. And indeed will do. Ah, when it was a good way to start. So we go to something a little bit different for our next race. I'm actually going to be a little more careful away from the line here because I'm expecting some falling over in turn one, and I think that if I'm a bit further back, we may actually be able to play this a bit smarter. Now, this is the Kingston figure of eight. It is an interesting circuit. Now, it can sometimes end up being uh, quite, I say, quite a sensible race. Now, my expectation is that that won't happen because I think these are going to fall over. Uh, we have seen stuff roll off of the curbs, so I suspect that's going to happen. Things are going to get spread out, but we could be wrong here. We could be wrong in this one. Oh, Danger Man's going to be out wide through all of there and bounce and bobble and bobble and the bumpy almost fell over. <laughs> yeah, if if we don't have vehicles falling over, we might not get spread out all that much. This is one of those funny ones. Sometimes you can get the most chaotic, crazy race you've ever seen. And then sometimes you just get a uh, kind of sensible figure of eight race. Uh, oh, that's not gone well. For me, I made a mess of that corner. Nine Tails is to the inside of a Lado through all of there and will take the lead of the race. Uh, we struggled with a little bit of control there. And. Oh, Danger Man's having a bad time. <laughs> Lado is also about to be in trouble. Bumpy's to the inside. Ewan's to the inside. I'm in the middle of all of this. It's, this is not going to work. This is. Oh, dear God, this is not going to work. There was a gap there. Ewan's gone round. Ninetales has got a huge lead. Bumpy, no! <laughs> Bumpy almost fell over into me. Uh, crap. As, as this sort of spread out field goes around, it's going to make it more and more messy, basically. We are kind of reluctant. The only way we catch up to uh, Ninetales now is get murdered on the crossover, which I believe might have just happened. Uh, so, there we go. That has happened. Oh! Oh! Pfft. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I just wanted to... Oh, Lado should have put the foot down. It, I've done that myself. It's so annoying when you do it because you go... You think you've judged it right to avoid a crash, and then what you've actually done is just stopped in the middle of the crossover to get hit when you could have gone in front of I slowed down. I think I was right to slow down there. I just misjudged how much I needed to. Uh, we've got into the wall. That, that wall really loses you a lot of momentum. 
Uh, oh, Lano has got that one right, though. The thing is, when you go on the brakes, you uh, have a problem with the vehicles behind have way more momentum. We're going to push Longbow past, because if we can get Longbow past, we can get through as well, and we can use Lado as a shield if there is contact. Now we're going to swap allegiances. Uh, I have... Oh, we're on two wheels. Okay. I might, I might have some allegiances to Longbow now, because Longbow kept me alive. Uh, I do fear there might be a Ninetales ahead of me. Uh, not best pleased. I did not... Oh! I've got no control. I have got... I don't know what's going on with my controller. But... <laughs> <laughs> Have I got control? Uh, my motorhome is dead anyway. It's actually wedged. It is kind of... It, my motorhome doesn't drive. It is not technically out of... Oh, we just got to the front. I guess we can watch the epic conclusion to this. My, contr I don't, my controller's not even plugged in. It's on wireless. It's well charged. Apparently we've got controller issues. Well, I guess we'll watch the end of the race from here. Uh, is it... Oh, okay. We have now got it... F we have got it free. That is a great takeout, but <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad place to be stuck. If I'm honest with you, of all the places to be to be stuck, uh, is that Longbow across the line for victory? They've got one more lap to go. That's Longbow. Longbow versus that. We'll just stay out of the way and watch the carnage. We're basically down and out of this one anyway. Uh, oh, that's a great hit. That's Lado in the wall. That's Longbow in trouble. Gliska might have gone to take the lead. The frame rate's had a little bit of an accident. The green thing's got over. I'm not sure who's driving that. I think that might be Crane. Uh, <laughs> looks like Gliska's going to take a victory in all of this one. The manic race that it was. Gl uh, yeah, that was that was probably fair from Nine Tails. Uh, Gliska took victory. I mean, I guess I got karma at the end of that one. My controller screwed up and put me in a wall. Uh, right, before the next race, I'm going to put that on charge. Kage, I uh, must have been a lap down, I thought was actually in the battle for the lead at one point. There's Bumpy on fire and out. Joe has not got much health, but has crossed the line now. Uh, Kage and Aaron are the only two left. I'm not quite sure where... Oh, Aaron's lost the wheel. Not quite sure where Aaron was going. But there we go. Oh, and Aaron's beached. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good chaotic round of figure eight racing, I have to say. That was, that was a good chaotic round right there. For our next race, we have come to a more sensible circuit, this one. Uh, this is the Dry Town Desert Circuit. It's one of my favourite circuits in the game. Uh, not, probably not the one fastest out, but I do like the track. Uh, we have got and they had terrible spots on the grid, but to be honest, that's a bit of a blessing sometimes. With these, that is a humongous crash from Joe. <laughs> that is a, yeah, that's a hell of an accident. Uh, does happen around the, this circuit. There are a few sort of nasty corner markers, if you will, that you can hit and ping off. And well, yeah, I mean, you saw what happens, really. Uh, this bit here, not a corner marker, but the banking is very easy to roll. And these things are quite top heavy, so we've got to be careful you don't end up uh, rolling them over. Can we get the run out of the final corner to get to the inside of Longbow? Possibly. It's all going to get very. This, that's such a horrible corner to try and get passes done on. Because you want to try and outbreak the vehicle you're battling with, but to do it, you're often going to end up, when everyone's that close together, you're going to end up in the side, as we saw, of the car ahead. It's been a smidge of a... Oh. Oh, we're going to end up... We, we, I went on the brakes, we're gonna, it's been a bit of a scrappy pass on Longbow, and we were about to put Longbow over if I hadn't got on the brakes to stop that one. Oh, the lead is gone! Lado's gone! Ninetales got in trouble. I also very nearly got in a lot of trouble through there. I'm going to overshoot that corner. We're going to get pushed a little bit wide into a Ninetales. We're going to have a Longbow on the inside now. We know Longbow's never going to back out of that, so I'm going to run it a bit deeper into turn one. My hope is, is on this wider line we can get a good exit. Ninetales might get both of us. Ninetales does. Great pass by Ninetales, although you're going to be on the outside through here which we're not going to be keen on giving that one up and we will fight our way back into a second place we'll slide it through danger band has once again got that big well, say a bit not as big a lead in this one as the first race but has got the lead of the race is relatively untroubled at the moment now no crossovers to deal with in this oh got that corner all sorts of wrong nine tails is about to fall over doesn't somehow just about gets away with it. again i know what's coming at this first corner we know we're going to leave plenty of space, and my hope is we can do exactly what we did last lap around. Get a good exit, and then we'll fire it back up the inside through this next corner. Oh, Ninetales hit the bridge, hit something. That thing got spat around. That is not going to be in contention anymore. Oh, as we're fighting, of course, we are letting Danger Man get away, because 
I mean, we're taking funky lines, and while we can make some speed on the funky lines, oh, in relation to a battle, uh, struggle to make much. You, you won't make actual good lap speed. So yeah, we're kind of not gonna. We're, we're not really worrying about that fight at the at the front against Danger Man. Oh, okay, we are close in. Let's say we're close enough. Sorry, long way isn't close enough. We're far enough away that we can take a more normal line through turn one. I think I spotted Gliska the wrong side of the fence, which makes me suspect there has been a big old roll somewhere along the line. We've got Longbow is all over the back looking and looking and looking for a way past. We're up onto two wheels, which is not what we want. Well, again, try and get it turned, get it slowed. We are full defense mode at the moment. Uh, I mean, we, we want to... That's what we want, so we've got to be a little bit aggressive with some of these corners, but you've got to be careful you don't end up falling over. Now we're going to end up running into lap traffic. Joe hits the fence, and Longbow's fallen over, I think. Uh, not quite sure how that one's happened. Longbow has gone for a big tumble. I guess hit something on the way into that final corner. That's not a normal place we see something falling over. At least I'm thinking that, that was Longbow's vehicle I saw in the background. Difficult to tell. This is now the final lap of the race. Our battle has come to a close, really, as long as I don't do anything dumb around these next couple of corners. And we don't really need to. The gap between Danger Man and me is six and a half seconds. It's five and a half seconds back, so we've got no one to really race with. Just make sure we make it to the finish line in one piece. Danger Man takes victory. You know, I will take the second place. And a nice big crash after the finish line. I think I took the rear wheel off that, <laughs> off that motorhome. Yeah, you know, I'll take second. Longbow ends up third. Uh, we had a really, really good battle. Ninetales was in that for a while until things, oh, things have gone very badly wrong there. Is that, I think Aaron's rolled into the bridge and got it stuck and caused mayhem. <laughs> that does look to be the case in all this. Glisk is going to potentially get those positions up there ahead of Crane and Ninetales as they cross the finish line. Big explosion of parts. Oh dear. Uh, oh, no, Ninetales has got into trouble at the final court. Maybe it was, I don't who knows? Who knows what's gone on? It's been a big old mess. Some Bumpy's fallen over as well for good luck. Joe's ha vehicle has had enough and is on fire. <laughs> it's gone predictably with motorhomes. I mean, we had, again, we had a really good race. You can have really good racing with the 800 horsepower motorhomes. You can also have a really big crash. Of course. We couldn't have a race with something ridiculous without a quick trip to a really silly circuit, so come to Arachnado. Uh, I am again going for the let's hold back and just give it a minute approach, well, a second or two approach, because it's probably going to be the safest bet, to be honest with you, on this first lap. Aaron's almost fallen over immediately. Ewan has, Aaron has. Um, yeah, this is going to be a mess. <laughs> Oh, Joe's doing pirouettes, and oh, we only took a little bit of damage, it's fine. Oh, okay, I mean, it was worth the slight pause, we're up into fourth position at the moment, that's not too shabby, but the, the field's going to get so spread out here that it is going to be really, really difficult to know really what's going on anywhere. Uh, there is a big flip for the, oh no, it's a bit of lag for the yellow vehicle, uh, I'm not sure... Who is the yellow vehicle? Ninetales... Oh, there's a lot of lag going on all over the place at the moment. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a fun... It's going to be a real fun guessing game of what is happening where. Uh, oh, there's a gear in there somewhere that we want to go to. Uh, bloody hell, that was a big hit. That's going to be Longbow down a place. Uh, yeah, it might be Cargo actually that's driving the yellow motorhome. Ninetales is somewhere in the distance. Uh, although, oh, no, wait, that must be a recovering longbow over there. So you can lose nearly a lap. That's, or it could be Aaron, actually. There's a lot of people with, okay, there's an Aaron. There's a lot of people, oh, okay, did not intend to do the spin out quite there, but, ooh, there's a lot of people with very similar coloured, similar liveried vehicles, trying to figure out who is who. Uh, right, Nine Tails is missing all of the panels. That's fine. Uh, we're going to go and try and judge the gap between Gliska and... Well, just Gliska at the moment, there's, there may well be more problems to come, we'll have to wait and see. As Gliska and Danger Man are now here. Oh, let's not do that one again. <laughs> so close. That is so close to complete disaster. Uh-oh, we're going this way now. 
I don't normally go this way around. I don't know this way around. Uh, I don't know this way around. Like, I can get lost. Probably can. This is me we're talking about. I think I've ever gone this way around Recknado. I just stick to the way that I know, and that's it. <gasps> no! Oh! Bad things have happened. We so nearly got away with that. Oh, find some drive. Find some drive, motorhome. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're still... I mean, we're still third. By the looks of it, Kaya may have got into trouble. He's only five seconds down the road, so he must have got hit as well. We're coming to the end of the race here. Danger Man who hit us is behind us, technically speaking. There's Joe missing a wheel. <laughs> we saw that have a really big crash at the start of the race. Kind of surprised it's still going. Actually, a good number of vehicles are still running around here, which does surprise me. Uh, do we want to... I don't know why we're following the cars ahead of us. If anything, we should have gone a different way. Uh, the only hope we've got now is that they run into trouble. That is literally it for hope I have. Uh, Car Guy has got through cleanly. Oh, no. I threw everything at that carrying speed, and it was not the right approach to take. You know, lose out to Danger Man, yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> Should have settled for the third place. We wanted to go for second because I carried great momentum, but uh, in positioning my vehicle to avoid a wreck in the middle, I just didn't... We bounced and I didn't have time to straighten it up. And avoid the wall. Oh, dear. Lados is missing a wheel and all of the health. That is... Uh, Gonna have one hit point, I would think. This is good cross finish line. Nine Tails is, is quite battered. Lado is going to finish. Almost didn't. <laughs> Very nearly didn't. Uh, where do I get the. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what we wanted. <laughs> Anyone still running? Ah, Joe is still running. Well, there's not much of a motorhome left on that one. Certainly not front end anyway. But there we go. Yes, you can make a motorhome A-Class. You can put a massive race engine in it. It's ridiculous. It's actually not that bad to drive. Um, you do want to lock the diff because it's terrible without it. And you do want to extend the gear ratios as long as you can. Would like them to be a little bit longer, to be perfectly honest. Um, because it still buzzes the limiter a bit. But it's very silly. But it is good fun. Motorhome racing is excellent fun. So there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.